We're here in uh, Henry and Fulton County. We've, we raise corn and soybeans. I've always liked the concept of, uh, you know, the strip tillage and putting the fertilizer in the ground right underneath the plant where it needs it instead of being spread out and have to incorporate it and then just hope the plant can find it. I got a lot of different varying soil types and sometimes your root systems uh, just can't uh, reach the fertilizer that easy. So it's, it, if you put it in a spot that's easy for them to reach, all the better. The strip till rig itself, the, or the fertilizer part of it, is from Lynx Ag and Sheridan, Iowa, and they uh, they build a box in the delivery system. And then the strip till rig in the back is a combination of two Unverfurth ripper strippers that uh, were six row 30 inch, and then I made them into a 12 row 20 inch. Uh, Unverfurth has has uh, extensions which provide the clearance so that you can have 20 inch rows beside each other. And uh, then uh, we took the units that were there and uh, we used the frames and, and uh, my good friend Dave who, who does the welding, uh, he uh, built wings so it folds up. And uh, then we actually did some more additional things because it was a ripper stripper. Uh, the blades themselves that close on it, we had to uh, make them more adjustable. And uh, so they actually move forwards and backwards along with side to side. There's uh, potash in one, phosphorus in the other. It's all grid sampled. that uses a Raven rate controller in there. And uh, it's hooked to the machine and then two, uh, two uh, conveyor belts bring the, bring the fertilizer to the center. Then the big blower fan blows it through and uh, creates the venturi, I guess is the term. And then it blows it through, mixes, it's mixed and blows through the lines at that point. And then it comes in just behind the shank and just shoots it straight down behind the shank. And then there's closing discs behind that and it closes it up and mounds the dirt. And then there's a basket behind it that gives it a firming action. And then uh, hopefully it's ready to plant. I make one pass with this. It's like, uh, you know, mo a lot of guys, you know, they still, I mean, farmers love tillage for most of them, you know, and this kind of gives you the best of both worlds. It gives you the opportunity to do some tillage, clear the soil of debris, uh, and uh, have a, a nice, you know, usually a raised mound, and uh, you get that effect of, uh, of tillage with, with only doing one pass. You don't have to come back and do it again in the spring. It was H2 Ohio that really allowed this to happen. And uh, I think it's very positive, you know. I mean, to expect people to go out and spend uh, you know, an enormous amount per acre on a piece of equipment with, you know, no, you just have to do it. That's, that's just not, that, that's not realistic for, for, uh, for everything. And uh, that's what's allowed me to go, go this route. And I think it's, I, I, I really do think it's the right way to go here regardless.